Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Motor Town and me, Sim UK. We're doing the same route that we did in the last episode in order to uh, unlock the ability to drive one of the proper buses. I think that would be quite fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. Hopefully uh, you can put up with me doing a night drive. Let's mix it up a bit though. Let's, let's go inside. So, uh, yeah, this is exactly the same route that we did in the last episode, which was just enough to earn us one rank up in the bus driving department. And we've got to get to rank three in order to unlock the ability to drive one of the big, proper, proper buses. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and concentrate on not smashing the car up. Which is going to take a bit of concentration, it seems. And, uh, yeah. We should be good, really. Look at that. I've got it all automated now. It's all on the buttons. Shut the door, handbrake off, and away we go. This is far more streamlined than it was the first time I did it. And it's a really clever way, I think, to get the bus license thing sorted out. Because I was trying to think, you know, if all the buses have got these really high ranks on, how am I ever going to get the license to drive them? And of course, the Volkswagen camper vans that come to the rescue. This is the bus here on the left-hand side. These are the ones that we're going to get access to first. And you can see the bloody great big things. Super long. Um, and uh, as a result of that, you know, they're going to be quite hard to drive. It's going to be a totally new experience. And kudos to the developers for uh, having successfully created a game with so much variety and opportunity. Who'd have thought driving was so much fun, hey? So if you haven't gone out and bought this game, why not? What is it that's stopping you from buying this game? I know it's early access, but um, as far as early access games go, this one is pretty tidy. A few little networking problems, a few little AI problems, but uh, on the most part, it's solid. There's plenty to do, plenty to see. The map's quite nice. Hopefully they'll release future maps. Oops, speeding. you got to love it, really. Such a simple game. But also, so it's got so much depth, so much quality. It's brilliant. And they've got so much right as well. I would love to get to the point where I can... sort of uh, tune up my my main car, my personal car. Whoa! And I'd love to do that behind Jimmy's back. And then challenge him to a drag race or something. And then absolutely blitz him. That would be funny. I'd like to stay behind him the whole race until we get onto the final straight. And then just put my foot down. <laughs> and he'd be like, what the hell is going on? You've tuned your car. Although, to be fair, I, I bet he does it as well. I bet he does exactly the same thing. And we'll end up having a proper race, but not knowing that each of us have tuned up our cars 
till the very last moment. Alrighty, here we are. Everybody off. Fantastic stuff. Oh no, look at the traffic. It's only three cars, but it could take them a month to pull out. That's two. And that's always the Porsche that doesn't go. What's this guy doing here and reversing? God, going round them. They're, they're too unpredictable. They're proper, proper dangerous, the AI. So I'm hoping at the end of this episode we will have a level 3 in bus driving skill, which will mean that I can go and drive one of the bigger buses. Not a good time to overtake. Not a good time to be behind him either. It's always good to avoid the AI wherever possible. Oh. To be fair, he was doing the speed limit. Maybe I should have just stayed behind him, but, you know. Where's the fun in that? So I think that's telling me no right-hand turn. So this must be a one-way street. I've driven down there before, and I don't think I drove uh, the right way. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't. In fact, I know I didn't. I did not adhere to the speed limit. I did not adhere to the uh, one-way street rule. It's very difficult to drive at 30 kilometers an hour, I've discovered. It's proper slow. Even now I'm speeding. Oh, man. I haven't even... I barely got my toe on the pedal. I'm giving it, like, 1% input. Hey, everybody. Hello. 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 Everybody on? Everybody off? Fantastic. We head home now. I do not know what that bus is doing. It seems like every time they come to a junction, even if it's not a junction they're turning down, they kind of freak out and they don't know what to do. But definitely a bit of work to be done with the AI. What is that thing on the right? Oh, it's like a... Uh Oh, it's cement. Cement mixers. And that's interesting. That's a job I haven't done yet. It's incredible. Every time you drive this game, it's like, oh, a new thing I didn't know about. I'm going to have to look at their uh, roadmap. I keep meaning to. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting because every time I open the game on Steam, I'm like, oh, let's play a bit. Let's make a video on this. It's just fun. Three hundred meters to go. Two hundred meters to go. Hmm. 
Nearly missed my turning. They're all levitating. But they're all levitating. <laughs> High on life. Well, it's good to be happy, isn't it? Now, there's a police car there. So I've got to be careful. Although I think that truck has held him up. So uh, maybe we're far enough away that... He won't uh, arrest us if we go over the speed limit. Or veer over the central line because that's not acceptable either. How are we doing? Oh, we're only about halfway through level two, look. Just past halfway. It's a dangerous overtake. But it was done safely. Look at all those eyes in the in the rear view mirror. So, uh, on a slight tangent, my daughter uh, might be going to a school for autis autistic children next year, um, but it's really, really far away. Uh, there are just not enough autistic schools in this country at all. Um, I can kind of understand why, because it would be incredibly expensive to accommodate for all of them but um, it's really really far away and the only way feasibly that she can get there is in a taxi and, and as a parent that's a really difficult thing to accept um, I know the school that she's at now there are a bunch of kids whose parents are wealthy enough lazy enough I don't know what the reason is but definitely capable of having their children picked up uh, by taxi instead of them having to come and do the school run because doing the school run is not a lot of fun to be fair well it's some days are better than others but there's a lot of traffic there's a lot of stressed out parents all trying to get in and out as quick as possible and they don't really care what you're trying to do uh, they just want to get themselves home which is understandable you know it does make sense they've probably just finished work or whatever but yeah some people do have their kids picked up in a taxi um, and that I part of me actually thinks that's a really good idea um, and uh, you know it's only a short distance so that's not too bad but, like, it's nearly an hour's drive to this school for my daughter. Not only is that, I think, too much for her, she's only nine, um, but also... <sighs> oh. oh, the door's auto-closed. That's lucky. Um, yeah, but also, you know, it's, it's, it's a long distance to have somebody you don't know driving your daughter. And I... I've lived in this town for a long time and if there's you know a witch hunt that needs to happen it's taxi drivers burnt at a stake they are awful people inconsiderate rude not all of them obviously not all of them but uh, enough of them to make them a problem and it does make me nervous to put my daughter in the hands of someone like that. But uh, anyway, that's for me to deal with. Shouldn't be offloading that on you, really, so apologies. But uh, yeah, just 
as I was looking in the rearview mirror at all those young faces from the school, it just obviously triggered my mind and uh, made me think about that in that instance. Um, I'm wondering if I can just turn left here. I know the game wants me to go all the way round, but I don't have to drop anyone off, do I? Should we just try it? See what happens. I know, I know I'm coming in the wrong way, but... Honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, that didn't go according to plan at all, did it? <laughs> but the good news is, guys, the good news is I am level three bus driver now, which means I should be able to get in one of these. What I need to do is just add this button to the controls uh, so if you want to know how to do this yourself you have to come down here and it's called interact one d-pad up and d-pad down oh, okay I could do it with that there we go we can do a bus route that's so cool all right listen guys next episode I'm gonna do a proper bus route we'll see how it goes it's gonna be difficult because the bus is very long so I might do it external first, just to get used to the uh, the feel of it. But yeah, I'm excited. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.